Hey guys, in today's video I am going to do my makeup using a lot of Fenty Beauty products. I mainly want to focus on the Fenty Beauty foundation. This is the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation and I have the shade 370. And I also want to focus on the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brighteners. I'm going to use the shade Honey and shade Peach. So to start off, I'm going to prime my face and this is also Fenty Beauty. This is their Pro Filter Mattifying Primer. And I'm almost out, but that's about two pumps. This is mattifying, meaning it's going to leave my face feeling dry. Right now, it feels like I just rubbed um, baby powder on my face, so it has that weird dry chalky feeling and i really don't like that feeling but since i get oily throughout the day i chose to do, choose this primer because my face is extra dry so that way as the day goes on and my oils start to peek through it'll kind of cancel out and make my face look normal and not as oily as it actually is so next i'm going to take the foundation and i have a damp beauty blender so what I do is I, is I run this under warm water and then I squeeze all the water out and I like to take a paper towel and just squeeze the beauty blender so it's not soaking wet. And I'm just going to put a pump. I do have a lot of acne. I'm working on clearing my face. <sighs> if I figure out what the right skincare routine is that works for me, I will share that with you all. In case you all are struggling like I am. Again, this shade is 370. I'm not going to do the under eye because I'm already going to use the bright, um, what is this called? The bright fix eye brightener, which is pretty much concealer underneath. I actually really like this foundation. It's on, it was on sale for I think like sixteen or eighteen dollars. I got it from Sephora, and it is hydrating. I really like that. That nasty dry feeling went away that the primer gave me. And that's another reason why I did want to use that primer because I knew that this foundation, since it had the word hydrating in it, would give me that dewy look. And since I do get oily, I didn't want it to look too dewy, so. But yeah, this actually does feel really good on the skin. Doesn't feel greasy, doesn't feel oily. It feels like there's no oils. It just feels like a light moisturizer. Now the concealer, it's really watery. So I do have to take my time squeezing the product out because when I'm in a rush and I'm trying to use this, it makes a big mess. So first I'm gonna use honey. I'm just gonna dab put a dot there and I put the dot there, the inner corner and the outer corner. And I like to let it sit for a little bit to dry because since it's so watery, it does um, take longer to blend if I just go ahead and immediately try to blend that out. So while I'm letting that dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. I did get have them wax over the weekend so it is going to be easier to fill in. And I am just outlining the bottom of my brow. So it looks all clean because I had them waxed. So this pretty much would just help thicken, thicken the eyebrow up some, darken the shade a little bit. But I still want them to look, uh, you know, natural. And I don't know if I said this already, but this is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And this is shade four. It has a spoolie at the end, and then the pencil is pretty thin. The Huda Beauty one is thinner than this. I do like that one too. But today, since I do have my brows waxed, they're cleaned already. 
I'm just going to go ahead and use this pencil because it's easy to use. But if my eyebrows were hairy, I would not be using this pencil because it will just take longer to um, fill in and just make them look neat because the pencil is just a little bit too thick. Just fill in. And I like to use my finger. If I make a mistake, just wipe it away. And then I'm gonna brush. And do this top more because I think the other one looks a little bit thicker. Try to make them match. Okay. Now I am going to use my finger and I'm going to blend in that concealer by tapping in. It has a yellow undertone. I do have another shade. It's, um, what is it called? Almond Butter. I brought that because I actually thought that would be the same um, color as my skin complexion. But it's a little bit darker and it has an orange undertone. And I actually probably do a, another video on that, using it to color correct because it does have an orange undertone. So I sometimes will put it on my acne scars, my dark spots, underneath foundation just to help color correct that. Still using my finger to blend. So that brightened up my under eye. Now I am going to take peach because it is brighter than the honey and I'm just going to use a very little bit to brighten up even more under my eye. Just put a little bit in the inner corner where I have um, my eye bag crease. <laughs> Try to hide that bag. Um, while I let that dry, I'm going to go ahead and do eyeshadow. So this is the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows and this is a uh, peach. So what I'm going to do is take this fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take this bottom middle shade that's closest to my skin complexion. And I'm going to put that all over my eye, my eyelid. When I do eyeshadows, um, I always do basic, neutral shades. That's all I know how to do, so <laughs> I try to do all the dramatic colors. I don't think it'll come out looking good on me, so I just stick to what I know, which neutrals, and basic and simple. Um, let me go ahead and add some more. I'm going to add the top middle shade next, which is more gold and it's a little bit darker and it has a shimmer. And I'm going to put that on my lid, eyelid, not across the whole eye, but just the eyelid. And then, now that brush I just used had a flat, it's flat, um, flat ends and the first one's fluffy. This next one is skinnier and it's fluffy though. And I'm going to grab the top lash shade that's darker. This is the darkest, it also has shimmer. 
And I'm just gonna go into the corner. And then I'm gonna do the same to the other eye. See how I'm doing that triangle. Bring it in a little bit towards the inner eye. Then I'm going to take that take that same flat brush that I used, but I'm going to use the other end, and I'm going to grab the light. This is a peachy, shimmery shade. And I'm going to go in the inner corner with that. really pretty and then I'm gonna take that same first brush that was fluffy and just blend it all together and I do keep q-tips on my desk I'm just gonna roll that inwards clean that eyeshadow up a bit Okay, now to blend the rest of this concealer, I am gonna use my beauty sponge and I'm using the corner and I'm just squeezing and I'm going to tap it along my bag line to blend that in on top of it. See, I think it looks more awake by just adding that little bit onto the bag line. Next, I'm going to use some bronzer. This is also Fenty Beauty, and this is the Cream Cheeks Out. This is the shade Teddy. And I believe I bought this brush from Walmart, but it is called BMX 180 Buffer. I'm just gonna dab that into there. And go under my cheeks, my cheekbones from the top of my ear down. Let's do the other side. Under the cheekbone, from the top ear down. And then my temples. Across my forehead. And then I'm going to do my nose, contour my nose. This is a, I'm not sure how to describe it, it's just an angled eyeshadow brush. And then I'm going to go down the side of my nose, beginning from my eyebrow. Go down. And then go underneath the tip of my nose. And then I'm going to take some eyeliner to help, I guess, well, I am going to go underneath my eyelash. And this just will help my eyelashes appear thicker, as if I had fake eyelashes on, but I don't. And this is a chocolate brown. This is Make Marc Jacobs Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crown, and this is the shade Truffled. So what I'm going to do is just hold open my eyelid. and brush, not brush, but put that under my eyelashes. So with this, I'm not going to use our liquid eyeliner to do the wings. This is just all I'm gonna do eyeliner wise. For mascara, I'm gonna do the Milk Primer. This helps the eyelashes look longer. 
when you add um, mascara on top of it, it really makes your eyelashes look fake. This is the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. I'm going to use a curl and length end. Start from the root and just brush up. I'm just going to go to the ends and wing them out this way. Okay. Then, what am I missing? I did the primer, I did the concealer, I did my foundation, I did my bronzer, my eyeliner, my eyeshadow, my mascara. Missing blush. Oh, I did my eyebrows. Oh, yeah, I like to talk to myself sometimes. <laughs> um, do I want blush? No. Let's keep this kind of simple. I'm going to go ahead and just do highlight, put some lipstick on, some setting spray, and then that'll be it. So, this is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Hustler Baby uh, Highlighter. It's a gold, very light gold. And I'm just going to use my pinky to get the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. My chin. Just get center of my forehead. And my cheekbones. And then we will do some lipstick. I'm going to do a dark chocolate um, brown. This is the Kat Von D lipstick in the shade Crucifix. The last time I checked, my sister tried to buy this. They did not sell this shade anymore in Sephora, but I'm not sure if she has um, her own makeup website. And you can buy it um, from the actual website or either Amazon. I'm not too sure, but it's not in Sephora anymore. Sorry. But this is my favorite chocolate brown shade. No, I'm not going to do a lip liner today. Let me just clean up. Okay. And now let's go ahead and spray. I would be using my Fendi Beauty uh, refreshing spray, but I ran out. I need to buy some more. So today I'm just going to use my MAC. Um, fix it spray. This just helps to make it blend together. Just all settle down and blend together. And I'm going to let that dry. And that is it. This is the makeup look using Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation and the Fenty Beauty uh, Eye Bright Brightener Concealer, Fenty Beauty Highlighter. What else was Fenty Beauty? The Fenty Beauty Eyeshadows. The Fenty Beauty bronzer, a lot of Fenty Beauty in this video, but this is the makeup look, and I hope you guys love it. And if any part of this video was useful to you, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.